now it has started. Okay. So it has started. So it's going to be recorded. Okay, no problem. So now you see we have the Google Earth. It's very important so that we can see what actually what we are doing on the maps and try to see what actually is there on ground. That's why we need the Google Earth Pro, which we'll see how to use it. Then there's also ArcGIS. I'm also using ArcGIS. I think so I stand, if I check about, it's about 10.7, 10.8. ArcGIS 10.8. It, it, it will do the job for us. So we have these softwares, ArcGIS. We have Google Art Pro. Okay. Then we have the OIS montage, which is mostly what, what you'll be doing for the for the training. I can see one of your students wants to join. Salahuddin. Oh yes. Okay. okay. So I've not dead Mr. Salahuddin. No, it's not. So in. I'm expecting Abdul Razak now. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So now so now Salah so this and Abdul Abdul Razak. Okay. So I think there is this thing you don't have. Actually, I didn't send. That is the aeromagnetic data sheets like this map of all exactly. where the data were collected. There are two. Uh, uh, okay. No, so I know there are two, but this one is extra. I, I didn't send. This one you see it. If you zoom out, you, you see you see them. That, that was something I, I I do for somebody. So you see all the areas. So this one have I resolution to be able to see how you can get your coordinates and now pick point to see which grid are you going to come by because many people they, they, they do it wrongly you just go and look and this is a grid but here it to you save time and save money to know actually which grid you need somebody came and you can see the legend if you check the legend you can see there the study area is this is this on red and actually, I find out that the grid 81, 82, 104, 105 will do the job. That's why it's important for, for, for us to be able to do something like this. The moment you get the grid, you know, first have to know what you're going to If you're talking about a, a local government, you know the boundaries from, from your share file, you get the boundaries, they come back on this map. And this map has, has to be digitized. I, I already have the digitized form of the map. The moment you insert the point, it will actually give you the location of the area where you are going to carry out the work. So this sheet is what... Which software did you use to make this? Sorry. No, no. This one was somebody that, that digitized it. I think the species is from... Uh, okay. Check. It was done there. So so I got it from somebody. So the species has already done the, the okay. great job. For all the sheet in Nigeria, this is where they are. With all the maps, you see there's map oh. on the, on, 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 underneath that ones can use to locate which sheet do you actually need so that you don't go and waste money on what you don't need. And each sheet they're giving the names, you can see that GBR and the rest, Sokoto and the rest. So, so, so this one is very important okay. for one to have this one. So I can share this one and try to see. But the only thing is just an image format, it's not a reference. There is no you can put your point on it. It's when it is referenced, you cannot put your point on it, which you will see find time to do if we have that something. So so I so that, that one can be done first by going to Google Art. By Google Art Pro, you can able to locate the point where you want to get your grid. You put your point from the point, you export that point back to this man, ArcGIS. From ArcGIS, then you're not able to digitize that image and now locate which grid you need. That, that's how I normally do. So you, you, you don't normally go there and just look for where the, the location of the point you are. If you can just zoom out, if you don't zoom out, in, in, anywhere you don't zoom out, you, you will see the, the place. In Nigeria, you can look for any, anywhere you want. But we are, we, are still, we are still coming back to this place. We will see many things here. You see how to do first. You see later what we are going to do. And let's come to the OIS montage. So that is why, because the, the, the whole work starts from here. Before we now start migrate to Google Earth, come back this, come back this. It's, so, so it's full of navigation. 
what I do, I go to the desktop. So, so I go to the desktop and create a folder. I think I create a folder here by the name OSMT2. So I create a folder SM2. Okay. So inside inside the folder, I put something, a folder called data. I think I share this data to you, right? Hello? Yes. I share this. Yes. So inside the data, yes. there are two things. I give you two formats. One is the grid. Sometimes yes. when, you, when you purchase this from Abuja, they'll give it in TMI in form of a grid. Sometimes they'll give it in form of a Excel format, like this format. If I double click on it to open it. You can see it. This is a UTM coordinate X, UTM coordinate Y in meters, and this is the value of the what? Magnetic intensity. So this magnetic intensity. So you have two approach of grading your work. If you are given this format, there is a way. If you are given this, there is a way. So our target is to see if we are given this, what do we do? If we are given this, what do we do? From there, well, the next thing is to go and verify the sheet that because this somebody can come and change this thing and does edit, retype it, maybe to sheet one and, and deceive you. But the moment you get the sheet, I know the sheet cover this, you can now go to Google to verify that this is actual sheet I'm looking for. It has covered the location. And that's what we are going to see. So because remember this name are does arbitrary. Somebody can change and say this is sheet without putting the number. So there is a way you have to find out to verify. That's why you need Google Art. Okay. So please just give me one okay. minute. Let me attend to somebody. Now please, why? Okay. So uh, they will take the credit. I'm not too sure of the venue for CSC. So we must tend to confirm. Yes, uh, yeah, I think it's mass department. It's mass. That is mass ma ma lab. Computer. Computer lab. Okay. I think I think it's not that you do your your one. Uh, Python. 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 Uh, that is the place. Okay. That is the lab. Okay. Thank you. Computer lab. Yes. Uh, what? Who are those? Who are those? Yes, coming. I know. What, what is outside? No, 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 no. Okay, no worries. Okay. So, so I'm back. Hello? Hello? Hello, we are with you, sir. Okay, okay. Okay, now I'm sorry I've created a folder, which is this. Then sometimes it is good so that you organize your work, so that if you are going to share it to other people, they can have a look of what you are doing. Just like what we do in this record, at the, at the end of the day, this big folder is going to share to you, which I would just come here and right click and zip, so that you can share it to your friend, they'll open it and, and look at all what you have done in your research. That's why it's good for you to create a folder, give it a name. Inside the folder, you can create a name where you put all your grids. Then also, you create a folder, if you like, a folder you call it maps, where you put all the maps. Yeah, no? where you put all the maps. So from the labs, so you have images. The images is where you put all the output images you are going to have. Inside this, you can have ArcGIS project ArcGIS and give it. You can. You can also create a folder, Google at I think I think that is uh okay. Then the last one is output grids. Output grids. So this is what you need. Actually, you have to create so that all your project ArcGIS will be here. Then you have this there. Another one, you need a shape files. Shape files. So that you have a complete work of all what you can able to manage. You can put software, software the same to software. If you're going to use software, 
the rest. So now you have a folder created. That's why you first create the folder, you create the data where you have all your data. Now we go back to OIS Montage, which has, which I've already opened as a project. First of all, you go to File, Project, then New, because this is just a minimized version of it. The File, Project, you say New. Then you you see, so this 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 is where, where many people make, so this is the place where many people make the mistake. They will just come here and write the project type. Without looking at this folder, this is the bin. It, it is right in where, in the location where the software, you see it, programs, file, Joseph bin, where the software is installed, and which is wrong. So, so let's say you, you run it here, and your file is in one folder. Your This thing is a different folder. So when you want to share it, you're going to have a problem. That's why don't ever put them in here. You have to navigate to your folder. So I'll click on desktop. Now we get to that folder, which is this. Double click on it, you are now inside the folder. Now, this is the name of your project, which I can call um, OSM, OSM1. Maybe I can call it training one, or give it any name you can, or maybe your, your MSc, your dissertation, your thesis, or your paper, whatever, so that you can able to remember the name. You give the name, and the extension you see is Josoft uh, project file, JPF, Josoft project file. So that is the extension. You click save. You see? Now it has, you see now it has opened. Now let me close here. Let me close this point. Then uh, let me close back the OIS montage. Are you, are you following? Yes. Okay, now let me close the IS montage. You see that's closed. Now let's say I finish the work. Then I want to share this folder to somebody. What I will do, I'll come here, I'll right click, I will say compress to zip. You see, it has already in zip. So I'll take this folder, share it to somebody. When the person open it, right, you see something like this. What the person will do, the, the person will just double click on this. Double click on this project name. Just click on this file. When you see, what will happen? The, the Geosoft is going to open. Who is that? Hello? Who is that? It's not right. When they ready to relax, so they will group you. There are many, many groups. So there is that one. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. It's not that one. 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 Okay, so please add your Okay. Okay. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hey, sorry, Hello. I was some student were disturbing me, that's why. Okay. 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 So now you see it has opened because you see we are using the invited license. So just close that one. Now you see everything has opened. So you see. So okay. so that so so that that is the way how to share your project. You zip it, 
and share this folder to somebody. Then the person will open it. When you open it, you know, you know locate where the project, you see project OS montage. You click on only this file, double click on it, it will open the OS montage and exactly what you do, it will remain there. So, so this is OS montage software. So, so this is where most of the work are going to be done. On the left hand side, our left panel, we have database, databases we we'll work with because database is where the, the, the raw data is stored. The grids is where the, the actual plotting is taking place because we plot the data. The maps, from the maps, we now get the images of what we are going to do to export and plot. Then these are different things which we don't need. This is ArcGIS MSD. So MXD is the extension for ArcGIS project. So this is where you link your ArcGIS with uh, OIS montage. These are modeling things. So this, it is a different different thing on its own. So it's not part, part of this training. The mod, model, the 2D modeling and 3D modeling. Then if you look at the menu, there is a file menu. There is an edit menu. So we're not going to do much of the edit. We're not going to touch much of things here. The, the, the only thing we need about file is to come here, project, and save while you move ahead. You always save your project in case it crashes. Project safe. So this is the only thing we need here. Then the data, the GIS, these are those extension. Something that you see, if you look at this, are the default database map, add GIS, MSD, coordinate, database tool, grid and image, map tools, sections tool, 3D, seeker. This one, if you have the version, the full version, that is if you are a registered member, you have purchased the software, you can able to get data, gravity data, many of the data. This is window, we need it, and this is the help if you want to get about the OS montage. So we, so we have to come here and load so many things we need, but for now, not now first, we can leave down for now. Database, we need this thing here, yeah, database, because we need to create the database. And also we need issue of what? How to import, how to export. So these are the two things we need, import, export, new. So these are the things we need. Then under map, we need to be able to see how we can create new map from our grids or from our database. How we can open existing maps, these two. And also how we can import, you see, we can import a lot of things here. Uh, the arc, arc view shape files, arc GIS layer files. So these are some of the things we need to, to insert. And also image, that is GeoTIFF, TIFF format. We can also import them on this board. What I normally do, the moment I create a map, I will just export it to what? To ArcGIS. Then all the formatting will be done there. But that way it's more better because ArcGIS is good in that area. So if I go to ArcGIS, so this is a point. After you create your map, you come to this. You see, you see now it's blue out. You see, save current map as MXD. So the moment you save here, it's going to allow you to export it to ArcGIS. And, and, and you are going to put them inside this folder. You see this folder, maps. All your maps are going to be air. From there, you now export it to ArcGIS and then plot. Whatever image you get, you now come here and put them inside images, which you will see. So today, we are going to see how we are going to produce that TMI, export it to ArcGIS, produce the map, and then finally put it here in high resolution. Now, so ah, this is what we have. We yes. Ah. Yeah. How do we now? Install, download the, the ArcGIS and install it. Uh, no, 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 it's there. It's something Google. You can Google and uh, install it. Is it free? Uh, it's free, it's free, it's free. No, what I mean, is it, all the, the, the version we are using is cracked version. So, because it's very okay. expensive to buy, that's why. But, 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 but some you know, university have a full version. So, that is all it is. So, okay. you have to use it for educational purpose. That is all it is this you have. So, so the only thing oh. I will try to find a download link, then I, I, I will just share it to you so that you can now install it and be using it. Oh, okay. because, because also, that there's QGIS, you see, there's this one. Let me open it. There's QGIS, which is free of charge. QGIS, you see, this QGIS, this one is free. You can do most of what this one does, but there's no connection between QGIS and OIS montage. That is, a, that is the only problem. 
You see, there is no connection between the two. But yet, you can still be using it in parts of your work. So, so since it, there is a crack version, then you can get it. So now let's go and bring our grids. That is this file. Let's let assume that our data, you're only giving this, this TMI. The name is this, Railway TMI. The sheet is 126. And what we do here, we come here and under grids. Hello, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Can yeah, a file on. that is being saved on yeah. Oasis Motage be sent to QDGIS? That the file? No, 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 no. There is no way you can say. The only thing you will send, I will tell you another way of doing it. I will show you another bypass. You can bypass it and do it. But not the full map. Okay, you are not able to format other things if you like. I will show you that one. Let okay, us sir. first get first our map. The method is to get a map and verify it on ground. And now see, okay, now I'm going to move them this and this and this and plot map. Now let's come here under grids. Since we have the grid, we assume that we are giving the grid. You click add grids. You see, you just right click. If you can just right click here. Add grids. There's a point where you say add grids. You click on add grids. A, a pop-up will open. You see it? Because now it's here. We are we're now in our project. We we'll, we'll navigate to this point. You double click. Then now you select it. You see there. So this is the format of you see you see that there are many format of the data you want to collect. But what we are giving mostly is your soft that we are giving. They will click open. Now you see it has open. So are you seeing it? Hello. Yes. Yes. So now you see. So this is what you have. Now if you look down here to the status bar, if you look down to the status bar. Look to that, but I think that is, that is what you call data. They put uh, asterisk unknown. Do you, do you see it here? Asterisk unknown. Yes, yes, yes. So that means this, this coordinate system is unknown. We are not giving data. We are not told which coordinate system was used. So, so before you do that, you cannot move back to grid and image. You put it in the right coordinate. You say grid and image, they come to utilities. And you come to reproject. You see the layout. First, grid and image. That is grid and image. That is both grid and image. Then utilities. You move down to reproject grid. That is unless if this point is showing unknown. Because that, that is most of the case. That is what you are giving. Only a single file is there. Then you, you now create reproject. You just click on reproject. Then you are here. So you move this up and I click on this arrow to locate the file. The file is this. TMI, you click the file, then you click on next. Now you see it is showing you what? Unknown. So you click on projected coordinate system. That is in form of meters, X and Y. You click on this, not geographic. Click on only projected. Now it's going to ask you to projection method that was used. The, the location of Nigeria where you have is UTM. Just type UTM. On, on the search there, it's going to scroll down 32 N degree north. See it here. This is a point. UTM zone 32 degree north. That, that is where Nigeria lies. 32 degree north. So this is the actual one. Okay. UTM zone 32 N. Then you click OK. Then now it's going to ask you to, what is the name of the new reprojected grid? Now, this is where naming is important. You name it TMI. You see, you call it a TMI. Normally, I call it TMI so that somebody, even you share this folder, somebody knows this grid means certain things. I'll put underscore, I'll put XY. XY mean, I mean what? Projected coordinate, that is meters, in meters. That is, this grid is in meters, not in degree. Don't just write your, your grid file, TMI, TMI. You may have TMI in latitude, longitude. You have TMI in XY. That is in meters. So I normally name it like this. Put XY at the end. Then click next. Then just maintain where you are because you are still under meter. You click OK. Then you click finish. Now you see, so this is what we have. This now is the final grid. Now if you come down, do you see, see down here? Are you, are you seeing it? 
Yes, yes. You see, it's WGL, World Graphic System, 84 UTM zone. So, so this is where the something is. So now this is the grid. I'll come back to this arrow. I will click on this plus. It will open up. Then this grid, I'm going to right click and remove. You see, remove from projects. Has been removed. Then I'll come to file, project, save. You see, I've saved it. Click back, project, save. Now I have only this, this. But now, if I want to plot maps, to plot maps, you have to reproject this one again to latitude, longitude. If you are doing analysis, always the grid in meter is what you are going to be using. Use the one in meters. The one for latitude, longitude is for plotting because that's what, that, that is the actual location of the earth. The projected is by putting on the flat plane in the two dimension. That's why mostly it's like that. This is what you use for your first vertical derivative, anything, carry out with this. So for us to plot map, we need to project this back to what? Latitude, longitude. We still go to follow the same method, grid and image, utilities, reproject. We are going to select this file here, TMI. We'll scroll down and look for it. Don't just click here. Just look for the file. Click on this arrow. It has picked it up. TMI XY. Then click next. You see, when you click next, it's going to tell you that your projected system is already in XY to try to confirm. This is just a confirmation that you are this grade that you want to change is already in XY meters. You see, the unit is in meter. You see the unit. You see, we have 10 minutes remaining. Because you see, I'm using the free version of uh, Zoom. Okay. Hello? Okay. So, so, so later, yes, yes. I'll just, when you stop, you still join back in the next two minutes. Right? Okay. So that we can see proceed okay. back. So don't, okay. don't just worry about that one. There we see, you click OK. Then, yeah, you are going to give it a new name. So, yeah, what you just do, you just edit this file. You put LL, latitude, longitude. That is TMI. Latitude, longitude. You click next. Give it a name. Or if you like, you can clean this one. Put TMI underscore latitude, longitude. You click next. Then now, here we are going to change it to what? Geographic. You see now the unit is what? It's in degree. So now we are now in mm. the actual lat longitude and latitude. You click OK. Then finish. So here we are. We have these two grid. Let me go to file, then save. Then I can click on this globe. This look like like this. Click to full estimate, full map. You see it? Click this way. If you want to see it full, like this. So this is what the map. So if you want to to pan around, that is to to move it along. You can click on this arrow, pan. You see like this. Okay. You can pan it around and move it where you want it. If you want to zoom, you see there is a zoom here. You see there is zoom in. Right? You can zoom in here. You see? That is, you can just click an area. You see, click and drag. Click and drag. You see, it has zoom to that area. Then you click your hand arrow. You can move around. Okay, this is the point. So if you, if you, if you want to bring it back to where it was before, you click on this one. See that bring it back to its normal position. This one is to fix zoom. You see? Yes. That, you see, if you keep on going, you keep on increasing, you keep on increasing to see it. But you can bring it back always to this point, to where it was. This is to keep on zoom, 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 and the rest. So, so, so this one, you can come here and then save. So we have saved the the everything the, the project here is safe. So we have now saved this uh, project. So now, now this if we now go back to our longitude, let's double click. You see, you, if you look here, you see one is is bold, the other one is not bold. That is the, the one that is bold is one that is active. You can see it here, it's active. Even if you have many okay. the, the grid that is bold in name, the name is bold, is one that is active. Take note. You can have many grids. Okay. But the one that is bold is the one that is currently active. Software is no, it's active. And that's what is it. Now, we double click on this grid. You see it? That is a 
longitude, latitude. Right? So now I want to export this one into what? To Google Earth Pro to see what is the actual location of this on the graph. What we do, we just click on this arrow. You see there? Map group mode. Click on this. Click on this, then click on the map. Click on this grid. You see something is now surround it. So you just click on this, then you click Please on come this. again, sir. What Sorry. I mean, you, you just go here. You click on this map group. Okay. When you click on this, then you come. The, you see the, the arrow will change. Okay. You click on the grid. It's going to select it and put them in the map mode, as if you are moves. So, so this now is no longer a grid. It's like now a map under a grid, right? So now you go back okay. to map export. Remember, we're not creating map. We just want to verify it, right? Export. Go to see map, then click export. When you click on export, output format, you come here, right? Want to export it to Google Art. You see, there is something. Can you see there? Key all markup language. This is the file format for Google Art. If you want to view anything on Google Art, you click this format, key all markup language, KMZ. Select the format, then just click OK. Click OK. You see it? Then now go to, you see, we're going to open to our folder. We'll go back to our folder. we we'll locate Google Art. You see Google, Google Art? Click on Google Art. They will name it there. That is TMI. You, you just save your folder because since why it's under Google Art, save it there as TMI. You click Save. What I do, I just come to Map, Export, select the format, KMZ, the one that you want to export to Google Art. Then you click OK. From there, it's going to ask you to select the location. Then I've saved it in the what? Google Art. Then I will minimize this. I will minimize okay. this one. Then I'll go back to what? Uh, my folder, where it is. So this is my folder, right? Let me go back. Now I go to Google Art. You see it? So this is my Google Art. What you do now, you see, just double click on it. Double click on it or right click. Open. If you open, then see what will happen now. You see the, the grid? Yes. So this is the grid. In case you know where you are, you are looking at your work, you can you see the, the towns, you see the towns, you see, you see, you see them here? You see that, that name of the file? Can you see the name? Mm. You see? Yes. Real way. So, so this was how the name was given, because it was the center of the grid. That's why they name it this file. Let me go back. That file, that, that's why from the data in Abuja, you see it? That's why they call it real way. You see it? R -I -R -I -R -I. So this, So that means this yes. grid is correct. You see it? Yes. So, so, so this is how you verify a grid. You are giving the correct grid because it, it, so you can see that point is the center of the grid. If you look at the center of that grid, so, so this is why you cannot verify. If you are giving any shape, okay, this is a, this is a position. You can say, okay, now okay, I can make a research around this area. It's still within the sheet. Okay, so you can see, so so this one is a very big area. So so that is how you export it to where. To. Google Google Art, right? From here, you cannot verify. Okay, this is the point. You can just hold your mouse, mouse wheel, that, that your mouse wheel button and share it. And zoom out. You can you can just uh, drag the map. You click and drag to move around. Zoom out with your mouse wheel and see the area. Okay? So this, so this is the area I'm going to do. It's correct. Everything is in the point. So that's how you cross-check your grid. To know that it's in the right place. So that is how we do this one. So I think if we now go to what? Uh QGIS. Like I said, QGIS bar, we can still open that same format in QGIS. Right? If we just go to layer, just move to layer, database. It's very simple. Don't go to layer database management. Go to this. You see that is vector. It is, it is a raster. A, 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 a raster means an image, not a vector. Click on this. And you click on this, navigate to our training folder, Google Add. You see, it can pick it up. Then click Open. Then you click Add. 
Plus. So maybe it's in, it's in to open open this project. That's why maybe that, that, that was the problem. Maybe it has already opened somewhere. You see, because it is already in use. That's why there's no you can open it twice at the same time. But please, we are going to pause here. Mm. So once we come back, I will try to now produce the map for this TMI, take it to ArcGIS, plot it, okay. export this one also to QGIS and see how you can plot the map also. So, and that's the later I will now do the okay. regional and residual. So from there, I will stop and continue another time. Okay. So please, let's pause okay. for now. So I will stop the sharing, right? So I'll stop the sharing. So come okay. back in the next five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm only seeing two. two they will soon join now. Okay. Uh, okay, now let's see how we are going to uh, produce the map. Let's first come here, right click project. Have, have you click record, sir? Are you okay, recording okay. this I'm, I'm, no, I've not yet started. Let me see. Um, yeah, okay. Okay. Now, so I've started recording now. So we have, from where we start, we go back to file, project, save. So you see, we have saved it. Not yet happen. So that means everything is okay. So now the next thing, okay, Salaru Dean has run. Yes. So yeah, Salaru well, yeah. yeah. Project save as, click save. Then the next thing now is to plot map. Remember, make sure that your grid is already in latitude long. Just make sure that yes. your grid is already in latitude long. That's why we are here. They will go to map, new map. So, so, so this is why we start, go to map, new map. Then minimum this and that. So what we need to do, con, there are two ways, scan data. If you have the database, scan grid. Since we have the grid, we say scan grid. Click on scan grid. Then you click on this arrow to select the grid, T-M-I-L-L. -L. Then you click OK. And now this is where we are, then from there, it has already picked all the minimum X, minimum Y, minimum, maximum, and the rest there. You click on next. Then this, you need to give it okay. a name. You call it TMI. So this is the only one map you have, TMI map. Then on the scale, just click on scale symbol to scale. Just click on scale. It's going to automatically fill it for you. You see that, enter the scale. You click. Now, Finish, you click on finish. If you first click on scale, it will fill this space. Then you click finish. So now you see empty canvas. Then you go to map tools. Map tools, that is base map. The place where you are going to put the, the coordinate. A broad draw base map. Then here, what you need to anomaly change, the right margin is right. Shut up. The, the left, I normally choose two. The left, two, the right, five. Or you, you can still make the left one, but I choose two most of the time. The right, you change it to five. The left, to, to leave anything, everything the way it is. Click next. Okay. Yeah, you have this, some to show. Solid lines, I don't like line to be crossing the, the, the grid. I like edge ticks, to be ticking at the edge. Then uh, okay. add compass direction. You see, you put plus X because you know X, that is horizontal, that is the longitude, right? Because this yes. is what we are using. Longitude is what we have plus east. Then everything leave the way it is. No, no need to change anything. You only change this point. Add compass direction, positive X. Add ticks. Add ticks, that's what you have. Then you click on what? Next, yeah, this so this is why I give the name of the map TMI map or the total magnet. So you can give it any name you want, then you click finish. So that's why it's called a base map because nothing is in it. So you need to bring this grid inside. Then we'll go back to our map tools. You see, there is grid and image display. 
map tools, grid and image display, you click single grid. So when you click on single grid, you see there is this question mark. See this question mark? In many pop up, click on this question mark. You see, it, it, it is going to open for you at L. You see, so you can read about anything you see in that field. The grid name, the, the color method, the colors, the brightness, and many of them. You can see many of them. Okay, so okay. that's so this is what we have. So what you do, you enter, you select the grid name, T M I L L. You see it down, you see you have reverse color. That's what you call apply shallow. So that it looks texture. It makes it very hard, right? Let me add it. No, let me remove it first. Click current map on this place. Just click on current map. You see it looks soft, right? The, yes. If I want to remove it, I'll go and select this map mode here. Click on it. You see, then press the delete key on your keyboard. You see, it has deleted. They go back to it. Color display, single grid. Then I select what? Apply shadow. You see, you can click on more. You can increase the, the depth there. You see the sh sh shading effect. But that one is not normally. So the normal default way I saw, put on correct map. So now, what, what do you see? Okay. So, so now the, the choice is yours. So you can choose any one you want to, the, 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 the style that you want. So, okay. Uh, so please, just give me those, those two minutes. Let me just, or oh, just one minute, please. Let me just. Uh, that's going to be right there. Yeah. That's what I'm going to be right there. I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay. 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 So, so, so this is a solution. So, what do you have to do for this? Right? Solution, no, mm. But you know, solution, no. So this is a solution because there, yeah, you have to have a solution. So, this is why you mm. Okay, I, I can have one copy. You can do it. No, this one. That is one. You can check out. Mm. 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 No, so, but you don't show me this one. Okay. So, this, so, this is where I stop. You come next time. Yeah. You have to do this one. The formation part. That's why I was not slow. It's not a solution. If I to finish all this, some of the some of the problems here. I'm sorry, I'm leave them. There, yeah, another topic. So okay. my other solution is there. Mm -hmm. This is there. Right now, no. Sure. Oh, I just put some of them. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now again, about about I'm still. I think I'm giving. I think that it's a lot. Okay, we don't give them. Uh, the okay. But the notes, yeah, they know they don't want it. When you go there, I mean, I don't use to copy. I just summarize. Okay. I just take a point, matter, I just arrow. I don't need to, to read again. I don't need to waste my time. Man, I just explain solely. Right? Well, I don't really have the notes. So when I just summarize, it's okay. Thank you. That's why I don't do it. So we are starting from density and limiting density. No, I think that one. Okay. See that. See that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. For me, we are starting from the formation of some. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. You like also and all to model the target. The objective is to make sure I do that problem. You know, after that, I make sure I cross all these points. Okay. If I have another time, I will not the point enter another topic. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Maybe just like two or three problems. So we are not to them. So you can try it. Let me see what you have. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is how it is done. No problem. You can continue your own. Mm -hmm. Not one of the problems. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm 
Hello, so, so I'm back. Hello? So welcome, sir. Okay. I so have now... a question concerning this map. Oh. Yeah. That uh, space between yeah. that grid yeah. and the and the coordinates. Yeah. Can it be filled up? It can fill up. That's why I say we we'll do it in ArcGIS. It's better to do it in ArcGIS. Okay. It's more better okay. that you see it. So don't, don't worry about the layout. Don't do the target okay. to okay. this map. So the next thing okay. is to put that of the, the the legend. Go to map tools. There you go to uh, okay. Let me think what, what I recorded. I'm still recording. Okay, it's recording. Okay. So I'll go to map tools. Then you see that it's colored legend back. Click on it. Then we we'll come here and give the title. That is the unit. Mostly we'll give the unit. We like we can, so we can give the unit the title subunit, maybe TMI, but mostly I just give it nano Tesla. Then you click on this small. There you go. You see that it's a label decimal. Do you want it in two decimal place or three? So I can, it can, depends. I can put three, I can put two. So let, you can choose two, so it's, it's yours. Let me just put two decimal place. The label decimal place is here. See there, label decimal place, just these two. Then you click on locate. Then, then you see the arrow will change. Scroll down and just click anywhere on the map, inside the map, and click, click. When you click, it will bring back the dialog box where you click on OK. Now it has come, you see it? Now make sure that you click on this <laughs> map mode, so you click on it, click on it, it's selected, then drag it down, scale it down. Just, just like what you normally scale, you change the arrow, you, you, you use your mouse, you scale it down. Okay. So now you have this. Okay. So, so this is the basic unit. Then you go to file, project, save. Now you see it. Something like this sometimes is, is to happen, right? Just click on okay. no. Just click on no. Don't know what you said. The map is still there. Then go back to maps. You see, now go to map. You see the TMI? Now yes. there. So don't worry, the map is there. So now what you need to do, we, we need to push this one to ArcGIS. How do you do that? Make sure you see the map is selected, you see it? The map is already selected. So go to ArcGIS on the menu. Then click on Save Current Map as MXD. Click on it. Okay. Now you see it pop up. You see, it send you that you need ArcGIS from 9.2 and above. And now I only is 10 point something, so it work. So you see, it has already picked up the name of the File, which is TMI, and now add the, word, the extension MXD. So click on this three double arrow to set the location. Like I told you other time, you, you, you click on inside map, select maps, then click on save because it has already saved the name TMI for you. Depend on the grid, okay. you give it, click on save. Then click OK. Then you wait. You see it's going to produce something under this ArcGIS MXD. So just wait for some few seconds. So, so now you see it. So, so this is what yes. add GIS. That means you can work in, inside IS montage through add GIS. But, but, but that one is sometimes not not look very interesting. So I I normally use the add GIS for that purpose. So the next thing now, let's go back. Let's minimize. Let's go to our add GIS. Let's go to our add GIS. I've opened the ArcGIS, which is this, right? Now I will now go to file, open, right? I'll go to file, open. I will go to file, open. So if I go to file, open, I'll go to the desktop, click on desktop, then locate the location, which is OMT2, then go to maps. You see, what do you see? You see it as pick it up. Yeah, so man. if if you have installed, it's going to show its ArcGIS. You see, if you look at the type, the type is ArcGIS map. That's why it's showing it. That's okay. why it's showing it. So that's why it's showing it. So I'll select it here. Select it, then click open. So wait for so that map you you do is going to produce.
So so it is going to load. You see it? Yes. You see now we are now in algebra. So now what you do here, that spacing that you are talking about, you can get rid of it. What you just do, you see this is the coordinate. This is the data, right? If you click on this open, you see what happens? The coordinate go. If you click on this, the grid disappear, right? Okay. And so now all I need, I will click on this one. I will press the delete key on the keyboard. I do. I don't need this. The escape. I'll also click, press the delete button on the keyboard. I've deleted this one. I can select it. I can move. You see, I can drag. I can move it around. Right. Okay. But you cannot edit the value because that's already. You can only edit the value in as in, in OS montage. You cannot edit the values here, but you can scale the size to the size you want, like okay. this. And then later you use the shift, all the 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 arrow button to move it down little by little. Like this. So, so you have this. The next thing now, you see. So and that okay, let me admit. So so now the next thing is to remove, you see, this the grading of IAS montage is not good. So what I will do, I'll click on this, click inside here. You see, I've clicked that two air that is outside, that is inside. The inside one, click on the inside one, I see I selected. Then you come here, you see this arrow. Fix zoom in. You see it? Click on it. It will, it will remove it. You see it? So, okay. so you see the, the question you asked? The space. You see it now? It has gone. Yes. Right. So now, now we have to, we have get rid of that one. Then you go back here. You put your mouse You on this arrow. Go to the... You see that the, the mouse is like this. The moment you bring it close, it changes to this. Then right click. Then go to what? Properties. Click on Properties. Right, click on properties, then click on new grids. Right, so if you click on new grids, then just click next, next. So it has finished. After you finish, they come back. After you press new grid, don't be clicking next, next. They come back to this, they click on properties. And now we're going to put the actual grid. You see, the first thing underline, go under lines, you select do not show lines. They go to under labels. You increase under labels. All you need to change, come here, you change the size to 12. You make sure that the left, they are lined up, not horizontal, the right. Only take these two positions. The left reading is on up, the right is also up. They come to the intervals. See, for the intervals, I need only decimal minutes. Or you can put second if you want, but I only need. So, so this is the increment, the interval between each one. So I can try six. Normally put six. I will try six and see. Or you can try five. Right? You, you can come back to it and change it. Yeah. You can try six. But leave. That is, you are not in. Tell me, Muhammad Azizah. So, so Abdul Azak. Abdul Azak. Please, off yes, your sir. mic. Off your mic. Okay. So, so now, so now you see you have six, six. You can put six minutes. 10 minutes because this one is not a very big grid, so you cannot put one degree. You try to see six, six minutes and see. Then you see, make sure you select degree and minute, then you press apply, then press OK, then press apply again, press OK. Now, but what do you see? Mm. You see it? Yes, yes, so yes. Now, what you do, you can just drag and move it down, move it down a bit. You see it? Okay. Or like in, or you can use the shift, hold down the shift, move the arrow key. You see, move it up and down, anywhere you can move it. Okay. You see, it? You see how nice it is. So yes. now you can take this one also, you increase the size a little bit. Uh, then later you now move it to the left. Move it to the left. Then take this one. Again, you can delete this and write anything you want to write. I write the text. See it here. Or come to insert. You can add the text if you want to. But, but let, let us leave it here. You can go with this one. You can also increase. You see? As you increase, the size become bigger. So yeah. position where you are, we want it. Right? So the next thing is to have to bring our not arrow. We go, we go to insert. And you see, not arrow. You click on it. You see, there's variety of them. 
You can yes. You, let's say I slide, I slide this one. You click on it, then you click OK. Then you see, it, it, it is there on the map. You see it on the map? OK. So, so you drag it. You see, it, it's, when you insert, it's going to put them inside on the map. Then you drag it, bring it here. Then now you expand it like this. Then you now use the shift arrow, right key, up, down, and, and this to move it down. You see it? Just put it to your liking yeah. the way you want it. The next is to bring the scale bar. Go there, get the scale bar. You see that a lot of them. You see, I've, I've already saved one. So that I, I don't need to repeat myself, but let me take one from the scratch. Yeah, okay. Let me take the first one. If I take this first one, okay. to show it, then I'll click on properties to edit it. Then I see it's in what? It's, it's in kilometers. Then I'll change the, the label to be those km. Okay. Then you click apply. Okay. Then click okay. But you can also save it so that if you come next time, you cannot save it with a name. So that you, when you come next time, you just let it to automatically add it. Click OK. Now you see it has bring it on the map. If you see that, you drag it back. Yes, yes. Drag it down here. Yeah. You see it? Yes. So, so, that, so, so you see that can it was the label we put. So that's all. So you see now you have your map, you can save it. That means you can still edit it in OS montage and still this editing will remain the same. You can work hand in hand. You edit there, you 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 just polish it there. So this is just like polishing. You edit it there, you polish it there. Synchron they will be synced to each other. So so that is the beauty of the two. You can edit there, it will choose reflect there. So now this is your map. Then now the, the next thing you want to do now you can add anything on this you want to you can put towns you can put your villages and put anything you want there. the next thing is to export you make sure that you have save click on save or file save anywhere you choose then you now go to what file export map you see click on export map you see if you click on let's wait for a few seconds now it has show you see it yeah, now you go to your okay. desktop, go to your desktop where you see where your folder is. Try to organize all your work. Go to your folder, go to those images. You see those images? Now you have yes. to deny it. You see, so this is the resolution. You see, 4, 450 is a very high resolution. Even if you zoom, you see your map, very high quality. <laughs> no matter how zoom you are, you are doing presentation. So if you choose as four, but remember, if you like 800, it, it will consume many megabytes of space. But 450 is okay, DPI. Right, JPEG. Okay. okay. Just click save. Yes. You said? Do you have a question? Continue. I'm Continue. Continue. Yeah, so, now, so now click on save. If you click on save, you wait, wait, wait. Let it finish saving. So we are done. Let me click save. Mm -hmm. Then let's go back to our folder. Mm -hmm. so let me click yes. I don't know which one is this. Then let me go back to our folder. What is this? You see, we go to the images. Now, what do you see? TMI. Double click it. Yeah. Okay. Do you see it? Wow. So now you see yes. it. You see it? You see it? You see it? Yes. It has a very high resolution compared yes, resolution. to what you have. So you can increase that value and decrease it and polish it the way you want it. You can still come back to here and add it. Anything you want to add on it because you have already said as a project, you see there, you can still do many things. For example, you can even hide the coordinate. Wow. You can add this one. Wow. You see? So that, that's how it is done. So so you see how the, the map look like very high resolution. So you can zoom it out okay. and see how what you have. So 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 this is how it is done. How to plot this map. So it is very good to use ArcGIS, honestly, because to use J. The two guys will not make it like this, honestly. So I, I, I recommend you just download it and install it so that you, do, you don't, don't waste your time and try to bypass. So the best way is to use the ArcGIS to yeah. do that work. So you see all the maps. And so, this, so, yeah. so this is the way how to do it. You, when you want to now put your towns, you can add villages, add data, to add the base map, add many things on this map. Put the, 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 the location of the towns, I isolate some anomalies, indicate here and there. 
Sometimes you can even do this one again in also in PowerPoint or Photoshop because this one is an image which, which you can take to Photoshop and now put text on it or in, in, in how do you call it, PowerPoint. You can still break in PowerPoint, right? You can still do it in PowerPoint. Let me show you. PowerPoint. You can still do it in PowerPoint. So you can still take this one on the PowerPoint, click on blank representation. Then control N. Then click on this delete. So we have a blank. Then um uh, let me add um insert a picture from this device. Uh, desktop, OM2, images, TMI. You see it? Yes. So, so you see it now? So yes. now, if you want to write anything on this one, so ladies, A, B, C, you can come here, insert shapes, draw various shapes that you want. You can give it the uh, fill, no fill. Then you can give it outline color, maybe let's say uh, yellow. Then you can increase the width. You see it? So you see, you can do many things. So, yeah, later you still save it, that resolution will be there, right? Uh, you save it. Uh, so let's say I, I, I save it now. If I save it on my uh, desktop, browse the extension, take my desktop. I'll come here, I'll call it one, there, but I'll change it as what? As image, JPEG, select JPEG format. I click on save. It will ask you, not like just this one. Let's click on just this one. So you see you have edited in PowerPoint, you close. Uh, okay, I, I, I don't want to save. So let me close this one Then go back to desktop. See it here, map one. You see it now? Yes. So, so this is what you have. You see, you see, the only problem is that the resolution has decreased, right? Be be because of the limitation of PowerPoint. Yes. It's only in okay. Photoshop. You can maintain that same higher, go higher. So keep in mind, you can edit in Photoshop, or you can see it there and add other things you want to add to it. So that is how to produce those maps. Any map you want to produce in ArcGIS, and that is how to produce it. Now let's go back to this one we have. Now the next thing is to do what? Regional and what? Residual separation. Oh, we, we have not added names to that one. Which one? Is it on ArcGIS that we had names to it? Like which names? Like the name of the town. The one you showed on the okay that okay the, the, the name, name, name of the of the file. Uh, yes. When we view the TMI on Google, fine, fine. Man, you, see, you see this one? Uh -huh, those names. Fine. How can we? I, I, it's very simple. To, it's not because of the time. You see, you see that many times, right? But if, yes. you, if you if you, if you zoom out, you see many of them. But if you zoom in, they will reduce. Let's say yes. you are okay like this, or you zoom out a little bit. So those guys, you see some of the town, right? So, yes. so, so this is where ARC QGIS come in. You need QGIS here to get those towns, okay. then export it to uh, this thing and bring them back, right? To the town, right? Let me see whether we have time. Let me see how to do that. What you do is, you see this one is selected, right? You come up here. Yes. You, you see on this, you see there is small folder here, right? If you, click, okay. if, if you click on my places, right click, you select what is called a folder. You make a folder, add a folder. Uh, let me call OM training one. Click open. You have click a folder. Now everything is going to be here. Now this thing you see, there are those points, there are those names. So you see, you come out here, you see this arrow placement. You see it? You click on this arrow, click on placement. You see it has what? Show a box. Let me close. 
placement. Just click on this arrow. You see, it look like plus add placement. Click on it. The arrows change. You see, we have those okay. uh, ten minutes remain. Click on this. When you come here, yes. don't, don't close the box. Right? You see, the arrow is there. You see it. Move on the map. Yes. Drag it. Drag the point. Let's say I bring it at this place, around this location. Right? You see, that, that's where where it is. You see, disappear till it's, you see, see, name has disappeared. You see it. Yes. So leave it go, leave it like that. Then come back to this something. You see it. Then change the name. Then the name of that town. Let me go back. Let me move. You see this town. I want to move this town. So I will name it there. B. Let me uh, click address. I'll click it there. B A. B A H A W A. They move it close to that point till the, the name disappear. You see it? It has disappeared. Okay. Then click OK. Yes. You see there? They have yes. add one point. You still, then you click another point. Let me add another point. Let me add those two points. Let's say I need this, this down here, right? Which is Nauta. 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 Right now, I'll make sure you, 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 move, you move it, you move it down till that name disappear. You see it, it has disappeared. Mm -hmm. Then click OK. Yes. Right? So now do the same thing like this continue, continue, go as far as you can, right? Okay. So after you do like many points, like so so point, you get this point. What you do, you just come here. You see this point, OSM, you right click. Yes. See, you right click. When you right click, you click save as. Right, click save as when you click save as, okay. then you come here under your folder. You see Google at right, you go to Google at then call it study area, study area town, area town, area towns. So you see, I've saved it. Click okay. on you see the format is this KMZ. Yes. Simple thing, just remember it's under the folder. Right, click, you see all of them yes. inside the folder. You please save as, let's ask, go to that folder town because this one is only the towns. You have saved it, right? Then minimize. Let's go back to our QGIS. Then go to like this layer data page management. But this time around, it's not raster, it's a vector. Click on, you see that raster is image, vector is those point towns and the rest. Come here. When you come here, you see it here, go to our folder, Google Add, open it, select the study area towns, click open, click add. You see it there? You see it right click here, zoom to zoom to layer. Do you see them? The towns there. Do you do you, do you see them there now? So, so those, those are yeah. the ones. You have two points. But you see it's showing that it's not. Has no coordinate reference, so you click on that one. You see, you play the coordinate system, which is this. You see, the code is question one means there's no coordinate system. You just put click OK. Okay. Now you see it has disappeared, right? Yes. Yeah. So now what you do, you right click. You said export related feature as save feature as. You see it? Save feature as. If you come here, then you go back. You see, it's not shape file. That what you need to go back to this. You see, there's a folder I create. You see, I create share file. You see it? Under share file. Yes. You see the connection now. Share files. Then here you now put study area. Study area towns. You see it? Towns. You save it. Then you click save. Now you click OK. So let wait for a second now. You see, let that finish. You see, it has finished. Okay. Let me minimize. Now, let me go back to Q. Let me go to ArcGIS. You see the connection? Go to ArcGIS. Go to ArcGIS here. Yeah. So, ArcGIS, you see that this connection to add data. You click on this arrow. You see it? Click on this arrow. Add data. Then, the dialog box will happen. So, so, so we, we need to connect to our folder of our project. You see? So, this is the arrow. Connect to folder. Click on this. You see, you, you see this, uh, uh, you click on, look for under desktop. You see the folder, just select the folder, select the folder only. Just select the folder name. 
You see that I speak the name, then click OK. Now it's going to open our file where it is shape file. You see the shape file? Yes. Then you click the towns. Then you click add. What do you see? It has come right, mm. but it's not sure. So you have to drag it up, drag it up a little bit up. You see, it has come, but you are not seeing it, right? So if I click on this, this, this red, on this point pointer, I can drag this one, give it a color. Let me give it a color black, but change the color here as white. You can decrease the size around 10 and click OK. So now, are you, are you seeing them there? Two of them? Mm. Are, you, are you seeing them? Yes, white, two, two white. Uh, but, I, but it remains the, the what? The, 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 the towns, the names. They click on yes. this. Click on this. Do, do, double click on the names. Double click on the name, not, not on that symbol. Then go under labels. If you go under labels, you click on this. You see under labels, click on this label feature on this layer. You come here, you give it the size of, let's say 13, type 13. Bold it because since there's many colors on the map, if I put red or yellow, it's not going to show. So the best color I choose is white. Bold it, choose white. Then click, make sure this, this point is selected, apply. Okay. So now, what, what, what do you see? Yes. You see them sure. there? You see the connection? Yes. There? Now the next thing is yes. to put your legend to show that this place are towns. What you do, I'll, I'll go back here again. I'll, I'll just double click on this one. Go under what? General. Then I'll take this one as towns. I'll just type towns. Under general, change the name. Apply. Okay. Uh, you're you good to go. The next thing is to bring your work legend. You go to insert legend. You see, so this is your legend. You see, it has already picked terms. Just click on next. Leave everything. Just click on next. Flex. Finish. Then drag it here. Drag it. So what do you see? Legend. Right? So now you so you, you double yes. click. You double click. You see it's double click. Towns selected, then change the font size. Change the font size, give it 12. If you like, then click OK. Then apply OK. Now you see it has come clear. And now the next thing you can save our project. Then now let, let's export to map and view it and see what we have. Export to map. Let's be fast. Let's export to map. You see, let's maintain the same name. Duplicate it. See, replace it, yes. So it has done the work. So it has saved. Now let me go back to the map. You see the map here? Right? If I now click yes. on it. So now, what do you see? Wow. So, so that's how it's done. So you can go at many points as you like. And it will still and it will still be affected on the uh, uh, yeah, it's going to be affected there. Yeah. Yeah, so okay. that's how normally you get your towns and other things which you have, you can put them here. Uh, you can put a okay. place where this is the mining side, this is this, it does give it a name. What you see the our legend is there. Okay, so we have our okay. legend. So, so this is what we have. I think we have done so many things, especially, especially the, the connection between there to get those points, to get those maps, right? For you to be able to finish. Because what remains now is that even this data we have is not yet being put in the right format. We need to add something to it, but our target today is for us to know how to plot the maps, how to add GIS, how to do. So that once we meet next now, we are now going to start the main thing, how to get the regional residual reduced to the pole and finish them all at once. So for today, it's okay. just for you to go back and able to plot a map like this so that when we meet tomorrow, we can now able to finish it up. So that because oh, okay. everything has, because when I, when I say plot map, I don't waste my time. You can able to do it, right? So that we, that's why the main thing today is for us to know how to plot the map, export it to ArcGIS, put your, your, your towns, add many towns as possible, and let's see. So when we come tomorrow now, so you now give me your own file. I will not be putting it on top of the something. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir.
So, so please, so please. Uh, uh, please, please. Uh, where can we download the? Uh, no, don't worry now. The... I'm, 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 I'm going to edit, edit the video.